the forward group again this is it boldy boldy is the missing piece and his line is still like looking good without him so yeah. like what is the rest of the team doing and it's i don't know man it lazy plays too right man now. lazy plays too um dare i say just like unawareness at times like just a step behind maybe just a little bit slower honestly because there's, there's times where like they'll be setting up the play right the other team's you know, skating down the ice with their counter or getting their, their players in position. And the Wild are just a, a step behind, a couple seconds behind. And it's it's the good teams that are reading that, you know? Like, yeah, you're going to stomp on the Canadians. And so much so that Flurry was trolling them with some of these moves that he was throwing. He's like, this game is so easy. I can do the butterfly. Like, you know, he, 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 was, he was clowning them until the third oh, period. You mean the windmill? Yes. The windmill, sorry. He was clowning them till the third period. That's how like easy the Wild stomped them. And as expected, they're a shit young team right now. Where and even the, the Panthers didn't look good too. Whether you know their their offense looked good, and I know uh, the goaltending bailed them out, but the the offense still looked good in that that game as well. It's these deeper teams, more structured teams that ha- that clearly have more offensive talent than the Wild that are absolutely exposing this team right now. Yep. And uh, and it's frustrating because, like you pointed out, this is it. Like, yeah, Boldy's not here, but again, that line, we're not talking about that line. That line's not the issue. This is it moving forward. And not just moving forward this year. This is it moving forward for a few years, man. And and that's what's that's what's scary. Now, yeah, and, and I don't want to, like, poo-poo Hartman and, and Felino and like, them individually. And obviously these contracts suck, and it's annoying that, like, we're stuck here. I I hope that this is just, like... You know, first 10 games, you're, you're, you're getting your skates under you, you're learning systems, staying above, just treading water until a Spurgeon comes back. I really hope that's what it is, because if this continues, this is going to be a long, long year. So let, let's isolate this to forward still. Everyone wants Dean Evison to make changes. We are at the front of the line for people that criticize him for not making changes. Coach Isha, first change that you make in the forward group. <laughs> and that's Coach Isha, not GM Isha. So you yeah, are not yeah, trading yeah. anyone yet. Oh, man. In fact, anyone that's asking for a trade for, is it four or five games in? Like, just shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, it's it's so hard with how this team is structured or, or, or just with, with the roster to like, and my issues is my issue is this, because I'm, I'm looking at the lines. I'm trying to think like, will one single player be moved to this line really make a fucking difference? And, and that's what I'm struggling with. Like, do we move, do we, do we put Eck with Felino and, or sorry, Eck with uh, Kaprizov and, and Zuccarello? Does, does that help? Does that help them? But, but does it take away from the line that he's on? Like, this is really tough for me, man. I, I I don't know what the answer is here other than like just a full shakeup like that. Like, let's just mix and match but throughout either, a game and see what happens. Give me something. You got to say what you like. You can't criticize Dean for not making changes and then not have a single suggestion for making a change. I'll, I mean, I would try. I would try Eck with Zuccarello and Kaprizov. I would try. I would I would move Duhame up or Dewar to 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 the second to the second or third line try try either or either or <laughs> same game i don't care those are the two those are the two big ones for me it's put eck with the best players because he's been damn good now maybe he has to switch up his playing style a little bit playing with those two but he's the best center on this team right now put him with the best two wingers and you know what like you said doer and duham yeah maybe on the ice they're not making all the great decisions but at least they're fucking working so yeah. Whether you want to say reward them for that or not, like put them up there, put them up there or one to start do him or do I don't care and just see if, if that energy gets something going in, in one of those, uh, one of those lines up there. But honestly, like I know we're critical of him and we're like, do something, do something. It's tough. It's tough. Cause, and it's not tough. Like I wouldn't say like, it's, it's not tough to make the decision. It's tough. Cause like, what looking at it right now, it's like, will that even make, a fucking difference or will it cause more issues? Uh, my opinion, you don't touch the third line because 
that seems to be working and you want to keep Rossi on a steady trajectory as he ramps up to the NHL. I think come Christmas, very interested in the idea of giving him some looks in the top six. And Hey, if more injuries occur or if things don't change, like, yes, I'm not saying don't put him up there, but for now, I'm more inclined to just keep them together because it's working. Yeah, and that's why I didn't I, mention him at all. I don't want to see him on the top line yet. I, I think he's excelling right now. Excelling. Well, he's, he's doing the, he, I'll say he's excelling right now compared. Good. Yeah. Compared to his sample size with the wild before. Right. So don't, don't break, you know, what ain't broken. <laughs> just don't fix what ain't broken. Jesus. Don't I call myself out. I call myself. That, that's a great issue. <laughs> don't break no, what ain't broken. Aching, no, don't you? <laughs> But don't break when uh, I broke it to you guys. Let's let's word, word from so the ones. my my move is similar to yours, but I'm actually just going to take the vacated boldy spot and I'm gonna put Caprice off there. Oh we need a little PP whack, separate the lovers, and I would throw Hartman and Zuccarello either with Maroon, get a big boy out there to just like open up space and let yeah. them do some stuff and also like Put them in a spot where they can't just be looking for Kaprizov. Or if it's Latiri, sure, I'd be okay giving him a spot look there. Or I'm probably out on my own on this. Well, that's not fair. There's a lot of people that probably want this, but that's more just yelling and asking for it because we're tired of prospects not getting a look. I want to see Beckman get yep. five to eight games. I just want to see, is this someone that is part of this future in any sense? If no, trade the kid, set him free. He can play somewhere and we can recoup assets for it because he is like still a guy that I think has a chance to play in the NHL. So I like give that. him a chance, let him play with skilled players. Kid can shoot. We've seen him do a lot of good things and he brings the vibes too. like, just go back to his preseason goal. Like he was selling harder than anyone else on the team has done to date. So, well, didn't, and I know Boldy's not on, like he's injured, but didn't Boldy say something last year too, about like how he was a, a bright spot as a call up for the, for the locker room too. Yeah. And it's, it's, I want to see him get a chance, but my Me key too. here is, Kaprizov isn't playing bad necessarily. He's been double teamed a lot too. He's had, like, he's had ups and downs. Like he's definitely had better moments and worse moments, but he's being way harder on himself than he needs to be. But let's get him in a position. Like we've seen the stability of Eck and Johansson. Stick him with them. Let him get out there and buzz and get some confidence. Let them clear the way for him to do his thing. Cause like, if it works for Eck to go in and be the enforcer, go low, get to the net front, Johansson to open up ice with his speed and Boldy be the guy that's out there to make shit happen. Why can't we copy and paste yeah. that with Kaprizov? Like, I think that's the move and let Zuccarello take a couple of games without playing with Kaprizov. Maybe that lights a little bit of a fire under him to be like, Oh shit, I have to wake up. So well, I have to do more rather than find him. Yeah. Which, like, don't get me wrong, when they find each other, and I said this in the, op- the opening part of the segment, like, it's <clears> magic. <throat> it's just inconsistent. And and you were right. I will I will give, like, credit to, to Kaprizov. I will give credit to you uh, in highlighting that Kaprizov has been too hard on himself because there are games where, like, you can tell the the team that they're playing has planned for him, and there are, there are two guys taking away space from him. Yeah, but uh, hang on, though. Everyone wants to talk about how he's a top player in the league, a top winger in the league. That's what happens to top talent in the NHL. And if you can't play through that, oh, yeah. then you're not top talent in the NHL. And I'm not saying that he isn't. I'm just saying he's going to have to learn to deal with this shit. Just like well, we I- talked the other years about the playoffs, right? They're going to be on you. They are playing your hips. They're going to be physical. If you can't deal with that, you're not going to make it in the league. You're no. not. I, I totally agree, but I do think it's also like on his line mates to fucking back this guy up too every now and then because there's there's oh, so sure. many times where I'm just like I see Zuccarello and, and and Hartman or whoever just like kind of waiting on the outside and they don't they don't even get in there to muck it up either because like oh he'll get it he'll get it and he'll send it back to us well no that's not happening as much as it, it used to in the past you know no and it's it's a little column A it's a little column yeah. B like I like it it's both but yeah. I'm just saying like fans can't have it both ways either be like. Well, he's he's getting double teamed. That that's what you do to good players. That yeah. that's what the league is founded on. And you still see Posternock ripping hat tricks like it's 
nobody's he's so good man. Yes. Oh. he's so good but uh so forwards we got some ideas there but i think we've highlighted that it's not yeah. like the easiest thing for dean to go in and make adjustments just the way that the team is kind of constructed and whether he's put himself in that hole or not remains to be seen i guess but you gotta do something you gotta, do gotta something. change something like the definition of insanity right yeah 